Hi everyone, it's Suraj here from Soltech. In this quick video, I'll introduce how you can create isometric section views in SOLIDWORKS. Alright, so let's get straight into it. So, in SOLIDWORKS, I'm just going to create a section view. I'm just going to create a section view of my front view here. And um, it's just a very simple section, just a half section. And I'm just going to place that here. Alright, so most people don't really know about this option, but uh, if you were right click on a section view, you have an uh, extra option here that says convert into an isometric section view. By selecting this option here, so it will automatically convert your current section view into an isometric section view. A couple of things that you need to take note of in terms of uh, isometric section views and adding dimensions. I'll just uh, briefly cover this. So if I were to just add a dimension on my top view here, alright, so you can see that's uh, a true dimension of uh, 1100 mils. If I were to add it, uh, and try and add a similar dimension here on this uh, view, see that I'm getting a dimension here of uh, 898.12 mils. So why is there a discrepancy? Um, this is because this dimension here has been set to, a, to be a projected dimension type. So essentially it's being projected from the orthogonal uh, position. And um, if you want to convert this into a true dimension, what you need to do is you need to click on this drawing view. So I'm just going to click on this drawing view one more time. And under section view AA, you can scroll down the list and you'll have your options here for dimension type. This is where you can select uh, the true dimension type instead of a projected one. So if I click on true here, give me a message here that says that the dimensions will be deleted. Uh, and so any previous dimensions will be deleted. So I can just say yes to that. So that's fine. And I can locate this message. It's fine as well. Now I can go ahead and add a new dimension. And um, yep, you'll see that I get the exact same true dimension of 1100 mils for that same edge. Alright, so that's essentially how you can uh, deal with uh, you know, true and projected dimensions, especially with isometric section views. Something else that might come in handy as well is you can now uh, edit this uh, section line. So by editing this sketch here, and I can say, alright, now I just want like a little a smaller section here. And all you need to do now is you need to rebuild uh, your drawing, and you can be assured that uh, the section view will update itself. Alright, so that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video. I uh, hope you guys uh, find this tip beneficial. Thank you.